Here tonight, it's been more than two weeks since police found three year old Braylon Noble dead inside the pool at his mother's apartment complex. There are still plenty of questions surrounding the case, but the community now coming together to honor Braylon. Michael Tater shows us a local children's nonprofit crafting two memorial benches in his memory. It's really, really sad following the whole story because you really didn't know what happened. Questions are still left unanswered in the death of three-year-old Braylon Noble. It's just horrible. I have you know, four kids of my own, a uh, new grandchild, and to see something like that, and just the mystery around is what really upsets me. His disappearance sparked a nearly week-long search. People from across Toledo and beyond joined together in the effort to find him. Jacqueline Federico, founder of Joyful Smiles Through Faith, says Braylon means so much to the community. It was very, very overwhelming to see like the care that these people had in the community for him. Especially in times like these, what's going on right now, to see a community come together is just a great thing. It's even with, with my situation, the community came together to help me. Rob Moore lost his job due to COVID-19. So he started playing around with woodwork and it led to a new small business. After Toledo police officer Anthony Dia was killed, he made a memorial bench for the family. And now he's been asked to do the same for Braylon. They could sit on that bench, see that, and it's, it's, it's a place to, to think about their, think about their father. And this is, this young boy had siblings. Um, it'd be a good place for them to sit, relax, think about the brother. The two benches will be placed at Crossgates Preschool and the Ability Center. This way, Federico says, Braylon won't be forgotten. He didn't deserve what happened to him. You know, I mean, he was only three years old. And it's just a tragedy. And he deserves to have something there for him. Moore hopes to have the benches completed by next week. In West Toledo, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.